क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई क्रीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the group 17 elements as well as the occurrence of group 17 elements and now in this topic we are going to talk about the physical trends in group 17 elements so what are those let me talk about that in this topic Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about group 17 elements but yes we have also discussed about the physical trends that we can observe in a particular group similarly we have discussed for group 15 as well as we have discussed for group 16 so now we are going to talk about the physical trends that we can observe in group 17 elements so starting with the first point that is physical state so it has been found that is the halogen family is consist of five elements and out of which the fluorine and chlorine whenever they are in the molecular form so they are in the form of gas we are talking about bromine so bromine exists in the form of a liquid state and suppose if i am talking about the next one that is suppose if i am talking about acetyl and iodine so they both are existing in the form of a solid form the reason behind that is the fluorine since fluorine is the first member of the halogen family and obviously it will have a smaller that is atomic size and that's the reason they don't have that much kind of intermolecular attraction with the other molecules that's the reason they are in the gaseous form so if you talk about bromine obviously bromine is a bigger molecule compared to that of fluorine and chlorine and that's the reason that they have a tendency to form intermolecular force and that is how basically they are in a liquid form and talking about that is iodine obviously we understand that is iodine is the one which will have a larger atomic size as well as a larger bulkier group it is compared to that of the other halogens and that's the reason that is the force of attraction it becomes more and that is how basically it is solid in nature so this is how basically the because of the interaction actually the physical state of the halogen family that is starting from fluorine to acetyl actually they are in solid form that is from gaseous to solid form so this is what i want to talk about and now let me discuss about the next point that is atomic radii so talking about atomic radii as we have discussed earlier also that is if we have observed the electronic configuration as well as we have observed that is the atomic number of fluorine it is 9 and suppose if we are talking about acetyl which is 85 so if we compare this obviously we will understand that is the atomic shell also increases and that is how basically the atomic size also increases and this is can be observed that is from fluorine to acetyl and this is how basically we can see there is a gradual so we can see there is a rapid change that is in the atomic size of fluorine to acetyl so this is what i want to discuss about these two points and what are the other points related to the physical trends even let me talk about that so the next point is the trends in ionization enthalpy obviously we understand that is ionization enthalpy means the minimum energy required to remove the loosely bonded electron from a particular atom of an element so whenever we are talking about that is halogen family obviously we understand that is fluorine is the one which is having a smallest size and even though if we compare it with group 16 we'll get to know that is from group 1 to group that is 17 fluorine is the one which will have a smallest atomic size and suppose if we are concerned about the group 17 elements then we'll get to know that is the group 17 elements which starts from fluorine and it ends with that is acetyl so the atomic size obviously it will increase and since we are talking about ionization enthalpy we also understand that is the nuclear charge that is from fluorine to that is acetyl it actually decreases and that is the reason to remove the electron from fluorine is very much difficult but we can easily remove the electron from iodine because iodine is a bigger molecule as well as we understand that is it has a bigger atomic size compared to that of fluorine that's the reason that the last electron is very loosely bonded to the nucleus of the iodine and hence we can say that is whenever it, it comes to talk about that is ionization enthalpy we will get to know that is fluorine is the one which will have a highest ionization enthalpy and compared to that of that is chlorine bromine and iodine and since acetyl is basically a radioactive element so that's the reason that it can lose electron very easily so this is what i wanted to compare about the ionization enthalpy and now let me talk about the next point so now let us discuss about the electronegativity 
So the trends in electronegativity is also very much similar to that of what we have understood in ionization and enthalpy. But now let me make you understand that is what is actually electronegativity. So this is what we have discussed earlier also that is it is the tendency of an atom to attract electron toward itself in a bonded molecule. So that is the reason that suppose if we talk about that is fluorine. So fluorine since it is the one which will have that is a smallest atomic size and obviously it will have that is more nuclear charge. So that is the reason because of these two things the electron it could be easily accepted by the fluorine and that makes the fluorine to be the most electron negative element in the whole periodic table and suppose if you talk about that is chlorine and obviously we understand that it's a chlorine will have a bigger size compared to that of fluorine in terms of an atomic size or atomic radii then that's the case that uh, it will have attraction towards the electron but it will not be that much compared to that of fluorine and suppose if i'm talking about that is iodine so in this case iodine is very much less electronegative and it don't have a tendency to accept electron in fact it has a tendency to lose electron that's the reason that iodine always occurs in the form of i plus whenever it tries to lose electron or in the form of that is i3 plus as an ionic state so that makes us to understand that is if you talk about electronegativity then fluorine is more electronegative compared to that of fluorine bromine and iodine so this is what i want to discuss about but yes there are other points also for which i have to discuss so those points are electron gain enthalpy and color so talking about electron gain enthalpy it is nothing but the energy that is lost whenever a one mole of an electron is being accepted by a one mole of an atom so if we talk about the trend in the electron gain enthalpy so we have basically fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so in the previous two that is trends that is what we have discussed about that is the ionization enthalpy and we have also discussed about the electronegativity it was a regular pattern that is the fluorine will have a highest value and the iodine will have a lowest value but in this case it is quite different the reason behind that is electron gain enthalpy it is nothing but the energy lost whenever and one mole of an electron is been accepted by one mole of an atom so in this case fluorine we understand that it is the most electronegative element and that's the reason that uh, the electron density on the fluorine is more so whenever the fluorine will accept an electron so therefore the energy that will be released it will not be more the reason behind that is the electron that has to be accepted by the 2p orbital is in fact it will show a repulsion towards the electron because fluorine is itself more electronegative and it has basically the electrons that are on it and that makes the density of electron more so that's the reason that the electron will not be accepted in that much effective manner like compared to that of that is chlorine so that's the reason we can say that is the fluorine is the one which will have a lesser electron gain enthalpy compared to that of chlorine and suppose now from here that is the chlorine will have more electron gain enthalpy compared to that of bromine and bromine will have more electron gain enthalpy compared to that of iodine so that makes the chlorine to be an element which will have a highest electron gain enthalpy in the halogen family or in the halogen series so this is what i want to discuss about in a more effective manner so now let me talk about the color or the trends that we can find in uh, that is group 17 elements so for that we have that is fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine so it has been found that is the fluorine whenever it has been existing at a normal temperature that is it is a gaseous form so it is basically pale yellow it is a pale yellow gas and talking about that is chlorine it is basically a greenish yellow gas and talking about bromine bromine is in fact a reddish brown liquid and talking about iodine iodine is basically a violet color solid so this is related to the trend in or the change that we can find in the color of uh, the group 17 elements so these are the two points and now let me discuss about the next two points so the next point is non-metallic character and melting point and boiling point so talking about non-metallic character we understand that is this halogen elements that is what we are talking about they always exist in the form of a diatomic state that is f2 cl2 br2 i2 so in this case basically whenever we are talking about this species or this kind of elements they always exist in the form of gas that is the upper uh, halogen family that is fluorine and chlorine 
so that's the reason that we can't call it as a metal cation they don't have metal character and in fact they has a capacity to take electrons not to give electrons but suppose if we talk about that is bromine even the bromine is in of a liquid state and even it will have an electronegative value and that's the reason that uh, it is not metallic in nature but suppose if we specifically if we talk about iodine so iodine is the one which has a capacity to give out electrons and that's the reason this solid iodine is in fact having a metal lecture it has a property of metal and that is what i want to discuss about that is among that about the whole halogen family iodine is the one that can exhibit a metallic character while the rest of the thing they are basically non-metallic and talking about the next thing that is melting point and boiling point so it has been observed that is uh, the melting point and boiling point of the halogen family or of the halogen series you can find that is it is very much less compared to that of the other elements like suppose if we concerned about group 15 or group 16 but we are talking about the trends in group 17 elements so suppose if we compare it from fluorine to acetyl it has been found that is the boiling point of that is uh, the fluorine from fluorine to acetyl it actually increases the reason behind that is obviously we have discussed in our first point while regarding the physical state that is they have very much intermolecular force of attraction between uh, two similar molecules that is from iodine to iodine they will have a larger force of attraction or we could say metabolic force of attraction but that kind of force is not observed whenever we are talking about two fluorine molecules and that's the reason that the boiling point or the melting point it actually increases as you move down the group that is from fluorine to acetyl so this were related to the physical trends that is what i want to discuss about and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood the trends that we can observe in group 17 elements and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe e channel thank you so much